Hey guys, Aubrey here. Uh, today I'm going to do a bit of an instructional video on uh, how you guys can uh, get a, a really good dash happening on an old phone or tablet. Uh, you can also do this as a little pop-up window on your current monitor as well if you like. Uh, you can also, um, if you've got a separate monitor, you can also put this dash on a small monitor or screen. It's very easy to do. Uh, I've seen people do this, but I haven't done it myself. Uh, I've always uh, been uh, one of those jobs that I'll get around to doing, but uh, since doing it, I'm so glad uh, that I did do it. Um, it's something that you, it's, it's basically a necessity uh, if you're not running in VR, uh, because quite a lot of the time, the way your monitor is set up with your wheel in place, um, you, you know, a lot of the time you're not going to be able to see your dash, uh, so therefore uh, you're not going to be able to see the uh, important information on your dash, um, you know, everything like from tr track times and tyre uh, readouts, uh, track information, um, tyre temperatures, brake temperatures, um, you know, everything that's going on, gears you're in. So today I'm going to be basing this on the lovely dashboard, uh, it's by Konstantinos, I'll put his details in the description. Uh, this guy has, has created probably one of the best um, sim dashboards for SimHub, uh, and that's the program we're going to be using today, we're going to be using SimHub, it's probably one of the most popular uh, to get um, all this information happening on the little dashboards. Now I know most of you uh, have already probably done this, uh, so this video is going to be mainly for the guys that don't know how to do this and uh, know that how easy it is to set this up. Um, so generally if you've got an old phone lying around, uh, an old phone, I had uh, two uh, little tablets uh, that I got free with a phone plan. Um, they're uh, a bit bigger than a phone, uh, so the size of the tablet I'm using uh, is probably a little bit too big to be putting next to my wheel or just behind my wheel because uh, it does cover a significant amount of the screen. Uh, so that's actually uh, for my use, I've got the screen uh, mounted uh, above my main monitor screen when I'm playing on the monitor and not VR. Uh, so guys, if you've got uh, anything that's uh, an old phone, you can use it. All you need to have that connected to the internet at home uh, and that's pretty much all you need. So we're going to start by downloading SimHub, uh, if you haven't already, uh, I'll leave the link in the description. I'll leave all the links that you need in the description guys, so uh, once you get the website page up, uh, click the big download button uh, and download the latest version and then install it, it's very easy to install, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, and then when you've got uh, SimHub uh, installed, it'll come up with this screen here. Next thing you want to do is download the font package. Uh, so what you do is you just go to this website here, the link's going to be in the description. Uh, download the font package and then uh, once you've uh, unpacked it all, just select them all. Uh, right click and install. Uh, and all that does is uh, with uh, any software that you're using, with any that needs a, a specific type of font, uh, that will just install it all uh, for you. Okay, for this next part, um, this is going to be uh, mainly for the Samsung users. Uh, now like I said before, I'm using an old Samsung tablet. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that tablet uh, or phone, whatever you're using, doesn't go to sleep. Uh, this is going to be different for if you're using an Apple device, so this is going to be for um, Samsung. Uh, so basically what you want to do is uh, just enable the developer options, uh, which you can see down here under settings. Uh, so if I select that, um, I've already had it turned on, but if you want to turn on the developer options, uh, you go to about tablet, and then uh, the model number there, I just tap that a whole bunch of times and then it will ask you if you want to uh, turn the developer mode on which I've already got here anyway. Uh, so you just tap that multiple times guys and then uh, it will turn on. Like that there, it gave me a warning and that's it, you have the developer. So basically what, what that does is allow you to get to this, uh, this function here, stay awake, screen will never sleep while charging. So. Uh, like me, you're going to have the uh, you're going to have the phone or tablet uh, plugged in uh, while you're driving, uh, just to make sure the battery is fully charged. So um, that's what that will do. It will just uh, stop that from going to sleep. Next thing you want to do is download the actual lovely dashboard. Uh, the latest version uh, for me is version 2.3.1, uh, and so that's this one here. So if you look here, this is the file. That's uh, the JSON. This one here uh, has everything you need. With SimHub open, if you just click on that uh, icon there, it will automatically install to uh, to SimHub. Also guys, if you want to use this for iRacing specifically as well, um, I'll leave a link in the description also uh, for these files here. So you need to uh, select all these files, download them all, uh, and then copy them into the main SimHub root directory. 
uh, that just gives more information for, um, for to be using in iRacing as well for SimHub. So next in SimHub, um, you can see here we're under Dash Studio tab, and here you'll see a whole bunch of uh, dashes um, that are already installed uh, as standard. Uh, that if you click up here, there's also overlays. So. Say if you want to play Automobilista 2, um, there's a lot of different types of uh, overlays here you can have as well. You can also download some from Race Department as well. Uh, but today we're going to be doing dashboards. Um, so you've already installed Lovely Dash, so that's what this one's here. Uh, so next thing you want to do is you want to actually get that dash to come up on your device. So you just click it. Um, here you can actually select windowed and you can have a, just a window that will come up on your screen. Uh, and you can have that come up as a separate window on your screen or you can have that uh, as a separate window or dash on a different monitor um, so you guys might have already been doing this anyway uh, but in this case we're going to be using a phone or tablet okay and what it does it comes up with a um, so it will come up with an IP here and this IP you need to uh, put into your um, in your tablet you go onto the internet and you just put that you just copy that exactly as it is there uh, into the URL on your web page on your tablet uh, and then your tablet if you would automatically display the hub um, from SimHub so th this all happens through the internet um, so basically you gotta make sure your device is connected to the internet as well for this to work and now on my device it tell told me if I want to in uh, do I want to install um, the app the SimHub app uh, which made a lot easier for me. So if you want to do that, you can also do that. You just click on it and install the SimHub app uh, and then that makes it a little bit easier. So depending on uh, what uh, sim you're going to be using first, we'll just say Automobilista. Uh, you need to set that up in um, to make sure it works uh, in SimHub and Automobilista too. So what you do is you just go to Games and you've got a whole bunch of ones here. So you just find Automobilista 2. Uh, what it will do is if you just click on it, once I find it, it's going to be A, so it's going to be up the top here. Uh, you click on it and what it will do is it will um, install a few things but it will also give you this little button here, open configuration instructions. Uh, and what you do is you just uh, click that and if you open the PDF um, it will actually tell you what options you need to enable in uh, Automobilista 2 before this needs to work. So you go to Automobilista 2 in the game, uh, you go to options, go to system, uh, you select shared memory to Project Cars 2 uh, and you set the UDP protocol version to Project Cars 1. Now if you're using another sim like a set of course of Competizione, uh, if you click that uh, it automatically uh, install the files that you need uh, for it to work in a set of Corsa Competizione. I think the uh, Lovely Dash was originally meant to be for that um, sim anyway. Um, so at the moment uh, it works for Automobilista 2, set of Corsa, a set of Corsa Competizione, uh, works for iRacing, uh, I think it works for Race Room as well and Formula 1. Uh, I think it's the latest Formula 1. Um, yeah, but he's just definitely been updating this uh, Dash uh, to work with other sims. So. The other thing I'll just point out too, so when you want to start um, the Dash, you go to Dash Studio. Uh, you can start it from here in SimHub. Uh, you click there and open phone or tablet. Or you can actually just uh, have this running if you've already had it running. You just have SimHub running uh, and open up SimHub um, app in your tablet and start it from there. Uh, but I just want to quickly show you as well, you need to just go into controls here and um, you don't have to, like me, you've got a touch screen, you can, um, there's different uh, selections of the uh, dash that you can use uh, during driving, uh, but you want to map uh, the buttons uh, to the different dash displays uh, on the dash. Uh, so you'll see uh, gameplay there, you'll see some um, footage of it changing uh, up on the screen, and uh, so it, it is fantastic. You can have all sorts of data coming up on the screen, there are other dashes that you can download if you prefer. Um, if you just search them up, there are other ones, uh, different designs. Uh, but this one, the lovely dash, is just fantastic. It's really good. Uh, you just map buttons, uh, and it will just basically uh, bring up uh, everything you need. Um, and you can even bring up the track data as well. You can have the track come up uh, on partial screen, uh, and it will show you where another 
drivers are on the track. Uh, it's got everything you need. Uh, with iRacing, it doesn't come up with tyre data because iRacing doesn't allow that. But um, for Automobilista 2 and Assetto Corsa and Assetto Corsa Competizione, uh, it definitely works. It's really good. It'll give you brake temperatures, tyre temperatures, everything you need. You can pay. SimHub is free. You can pay for SimHub. Um, if you get the paid version, uh, I think it is a little bit faster response on the screen. Uh, but the free version for me, the uh, lovely dash seems to work perfectly. I haven't had any issues. Uh, it's just been fantastic. Now guys, I'll leave the um, link to the developers, um, Konstantinos, his video uh, in the description if you want to have a look. Uh, he goes right in depth to it. Uh, there are other features and things that you might want to look at. Um, he has a full uh, description on how to use um, it to the to its full potential. Uh, so this video, guys, will just get you going uh, with the dash. Um, you don't have to use a lovely dash, but uh, for me, I've used a few, and this one uh, is really good. Uh, but you can also post, guys, if you uh, want to just post. If you've got some uh, good ones that you like, you can put them in the comments there below. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll leave uh, the developer Constantinos. I'll leave his video in the description uh, and also his website uh, where everything can be downloaded from uh, if you need to uh, need any information on it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helps some of you guys. If you've got an old phone or tablet uh, floating around, this is a fantastic way to make use of it. Uh, I'm just so happy I did this. I wish I'd done it earlier though, to be honest. But uh, Anyway guys, we'll leave you with that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, it'd be really helpful to uh, hit that thumbs up. It helps my channel. Um, and uh, if you want to see any more of my content, just hit that subscribe button guys. And we'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.